This program contains strong language and sexual references throughout. Got one foot on the platform. The other foot on the train. But that shit was not right, man. Like, obviously, there's a big miscommunication. I'm not nasty, I'm not argumentative. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> it's not your, do you know what? It's not your problem, it's Ashley's now. You've said your piece, yeah. and now it's up to her. I love Ashley so much to the point that I feel so defensive over her and her feelings because I know that she is so into Jared. I was just being a good friend. Maybe I've got it wrong. Someone get that girl an architect because she might need to start building bridges. And she's not the only one. With Chloe in the villa, I think this will give us the time to properly chat about everything that's happened in the past and just see if we can move forward, I guess. I was so worried about you coming in here. I can't believe that you was. Like, I was. I was shocked. Like When I walked in and you was crying and stuff, I couldn't believe it. I was thinking you were going to come on and start on me. I would never come in and want a problem with you. Obviously, what I'd done with James, yeah, it weren't nice, it wasn't. But in my defence, I honestly just thought you had a new boyfriend and we weren't going to be friends again. That's all it was. It didn't feel then mm. that you were remorseful or you even cared about... Yeah, because I wasn't, and yeah. that's the truth. Like, I just wasn't. That's why I've come here and been like, yeah, I did it. Like, yeah. because I'm not going to hide away from it and be like, I didn't, because I did. And I'm, I need to grow from that and realise you can't do that to people. What's so mad is Chloe and I used to be such good friends. I found out she'd slept with my ex-boyfriend, Lockie, which was quite wounding. I think I made out it didn't really bother me as much as what it did because I didn't want to look weak. So I just put on a brave face. Would I do it again? No. Like, mm. it, it, there, was no there was no gain from it. If anything, I lost a friend that I could have made up with easier. I think just hearing you say that's really probably what I wanted to hear from you before. Yeah. It's a hard situation to be in and I regret it. I've apologised for that. Why are you crying? It's nice when you say that. I think it was just nice to hear her say sorry. I never really got that um, from her like that before. Now, hopefully, from this point, we can start our friendship fresh and just see what happens. I have lovely memories with you. Like, I remember sharing a room with you in my bay when I was young and you being like, come on, you shared a room with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you would, every time. I do know that she's an overthinker, so I think that she's probably spent a lot of the time getting into her own head and worrying that I'm going to come and start drama, but I would never do that. If anything, I'm in the wrong and she's got more right to have a go at me. What do you think of the villa, though? It's like, it's like it's Malibu like... Barbie, ain't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's just a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus, there's no pleasing some people. I'm starting to maybe realise that it got massively blown out of proportion. I do need to pull Jared aside and have that grown-up conversation with him. Listen, I just... I want to say, right, I should not have came at you like that. And I'm sorry if you feel like you've been personally attacked. I got put in a situation where I felt very, very ganged up on for no reason. I, I came in here, I found a connection. I even said to myself in my own gut, was like, I want to take things a little slower. I would have never thought that me and Chloe would be in an argument. But how are you going to just stick up for somebody and you don't know both sides of the story? I might look tough on the outside, but I'm a sensitive dude. Mm -hmm. yeah, I thought that me and you, I, I don't... I, I thought we were sweet, honestly. Like, you've helped me with a coffee machine, we have a little banter. It's like Chinese whispers. I say something to Ivy D, or Ivy D says something to her, and then she then gets in her head about it. And then Yaz is like, yeah, but he made this comment. And I'm like, oh my God, hang on a second. And then we're all getting paranoid thinking, oh my God, is this girl going to get hurt? And I've got the full brunt end of it. And you know what? I'm going to wear it on the chin. Yeah, yeah I, I join you guys. Do you guys want some space? No, you can come and chat. I did wrong. I'm the one that stood up and was the spokesperson. From one comment that I got oversensitive about on day one, completely judged him the wrong way. Thanks, Glove. 
You're the best. I'm glad we've had this chat. I have no bad blood with Chloe. I guess she has to be sticking up for her girlfriend, and I respect that. I mean, they were feeding her bullshit. Obviously, the truth comes out to play, and the truth came out tonight. Oh, my God. I'm gonna have to uh, catch y'all later. Oh, Jesus Christ. You get ready for bed? <laughs>